So people people want to ask about what type of tattoo they're gonna get. So that should be our topic today. What type of tattoo should you get, and how many tattoos should you get? So we're gonna have to go back before I answer that question. I have, we're gonna have to go back a long, long time ago when tattoo was part of the culture. It wasn't a trend. It wasn't being popular. It wasn't like the day you just woke up and you want to get a tattoo. We're going to have to go back all the way back before, uh, you know, the Spaniards start colonizing uh, some, of, some of the island in Southeast Asia. Because tattoo really started in Southeast Asia. It didn't start anywhere else. So before... There was uh, all the social media and Instagram and all, all that stuff. Tattoo was a celebration. When a person is adult enough and he's ready to hunt. Uh, so they would set up this uh, ceremony for that person to get tatted up. And welcome him to be part of the uh, culture and for his uh, being adult or manhood. Now, if you want to ask what type of tattoo you're going to get, you have to do that research because there's a lot of category. There's a tribal. Uh, uh, there's a Japanese. <clears throat> there is American traditional. There's neo-traditional. There, there is realism. Now, going back to the question again, how many tattoos should I get? One person should only get one type of tattoo. It's not like the one arm is American traditional, the other arm is black and gray or tribal. So if you look at people who was tribal a long, long time ago, all their tattoo are connected together. So all your tattoos should be connected to each other. It's not from one arm is different from the other side and the other side is different from the other side. All your tattoo from your from your head to your toes it's only supposed to be one style if you want to get japanese all japanese if you want to get tribal all tribal you know if you want to get american traditional all american traditional if you want to do realism black and gray or color real realism all of them are the same you don't switch off from one tribal to a japanese or to american traditional it doesn't work like that Tattoos should only be one. You, you only need one type of tattoo. Nothing else. Not even your ex-girlfriend's name. Not even your spouse's name. None of that stuff. So make sure when you plan out to get a tattoo someday, you do your research of what type of tattoo you really, really want. Because there's a lot of categories of type of tattoo you're going to get. Make sure they mean something. Don't be getting tattoo that doesn't mean anything. Because if art doesn't mean anything, then it's nothing. All art has, should mean something, especially for you. So you need to talk to your artist about that and, and what type of tattoo should you get. And make sure that artist specializes in the category you're trying to get. Don't be going in the shop without knowing really who your artist is. You know, don't be one of those guys that just walk into, into the shop and doesn't know what they want to get. Because tattoo artists these days, they will take your money. They don't care what you want. They don't care what type, of what type of style you want. They don't know the history of the tattoo itself. A lot of these guys won't just want to get shit off the internet and be done with it. So make sure you do your research and you know what type of tattoo artist you're trying to get. Because there's a lot of them out there. They don't care about what type of category. They just want to make them money. So good luck out there. Do your research. You don't need a lot of tattoos. You only need one type of tattoos. Have a good day. Peace out.